And then we're gonna join the heavenly choir And we're gonna sing and never be turned Then we're gonna sing somewhere around God's altar And then we're gonna shout all my troubles over you know my soul looks back and wonder how did I make it over? Hey, tell me how I got over. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Now, y'all know I don't really have. Uh, too much to say about this man, uh, but I gotta say this because I just want to give you an analogy to let you see how the devil works. Okay, now ain't nobody talking about <laughs> how insulting it is for black people to have to look at Jerry Jones and his cohorts trying to stop kids from getting in school. But he's been redeemed. He was just a kid. Oh, la, la, la. Forgive him. But nobody looks at Emmett Till as a kid. I mean, y'all just, the hypocrisy is just mind-boggling. Now, Kanye was supposed to be rich, and that's why I told y'all. You White man speaks with forked tongue, and that's what you just better know. Doesn't mean that if he's in any position of power, I want you to hear me, and hear me good. He speak with forked tongue. He don't know how to tell the truth. Not that he won't. He don't know how. It's too embedded. So I want to know now, Kanye West now, he just revealed that the IRS froze his bank accounts because he owes $50 million in back taxes. Now you let me know. Maybe I missed something. When any other American... Has been allowed to owe the government fifty million dollars, and then still do business and walk around like nothing happened until you say something about them other them peoples. Now that you just said something about them people and their hypocrisy and how they run Hollywood and all of that, now all of a sudden you're broke. And like I told you, you're gonna end up a person without a country. Because I still ain't got no time for you. I don't give a damn. I hate to watch it crumble. But like you said, and then they're picking you up. And then it all falls down. <laughs> and bringing you up. And then it all falls down. Now, everything you said, brother, is a, is a, the truth. It was a truth postulate is what it was. Because everything you said is coming to truth on you. He, This man then went to the... Y'all, how y'all think Donald Trump feel? Kanye West asked him to be his running mate. Here you got two supremely narcissistic on a, on a scale of 1 to 10. They both 10. Okay, because you know all that stuff runs on a continuum. You can have narcissistic traits. That's why I hate that everybody's overusing the word. Oh, he's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. This dude really is. He's like Donald Trump. They're so oblivious to the shit around them. They don't see nothing but their own self. Nobody can't give them no advice. Nobody can't say, hey, he's up. So he was left. He was on some uh, interview on Pooh's Timcast. After the host um, uh, uh, pushed back on the rapper's latest anti-Semitic comments about how the news supposedly control the media. Nicholas Fuentes, I can't understand for the life of me how a, a person with Hispanic origin or, well, I, I just can't understand for the life of me how he can be, um, would want to be a white supremacist, but well, that's neither here nor there. But they're going to string you up too when they get a chance. The white nationalist Milo, um, white, 
of Nick Fuentes, a white nationalist, and Milo Yanapolis, he was a Greek guy, huh? A controversial media figure who now works for Yee's presidential campaign. We're also on the podcast with the rapper. Kanye, you want to run for president and you want Donald Trump to be your vice president after he's already been president and you a fool? Oh, my God. For what this, a ye had a dinner. Well, I'm going to call you Kanye, nigga. Uh, excuse me. That's what your mama named you. That's what I'm going to call you. Uh, Fuentes and Kanye had dinner with Donald Trump at his Mar-a-Lago home in Palm Beach last week, which made a lot of people angry. Why? Why? Gold Digger, the rapper who was uh, on this podcast, he said that his finance people told him he would have to pay a lot of taxes. He said, I'm talking about literally finding out that they were trying to put me in prison this morning. But I found out, okay, so they froze. They put a 75 million hole on four of my accounts. And then they said, you owe a lot of taxes. Took me like six hours to find out how much a lot was. Well, it's around 50 million. So now I'm having to actually learn how to run a company. I get to learn how to, you know, to count, really. You said you never read a book. And you mean tell me you told Sway he didn't have the answers. You don't have the answers, Sway. You don't have the answers, Sway. Well, it comes to find out Sway really did have the answers. I didn't. You know, Kanye, I'm so sick of you. I am so sick of you. Especially this picture with your lips looking like they looking like you got some kind of uh, VD, uh, STD, um, all on your mouth. You shouldn't approve of these pictures going out at all. And neither should your damn publicist. Looks like they're trying to make you look crazier. Kanye, go sit down, please. If your money is taken, oh well. Y'all probably feel like I'm I'm really extreme. Uh, but you know what? I'm not like Michelle uh, Obama. When they go high, low, we go high. When you go low, bitch, I go lower. Let's make that be known right now. Especially when it comes to disenfranchisement of people, mistreatment of babies, mistreatment of elderly people, and just mistreatment of people who ain't done shit. Then I go low right with you. I'll see y'all in the next video.